What's up, Gacha Squad? Surgic here, and welcome back to Gacha Memories. Uh, I see there's a little holds up in this. See, I, the, the freaking recording, not the recording, the freaking thing messed up because I tried to clear it up. I had to, uh, my dad was trying to fix my storage, and it, it, it's working, ha it, it worked halfway. He had to delete a couple of things, but then he downloaded some back to get all this stuff back, meaning I didn't have to do this over, which is glad. I don't feel like it. Anyway, let's get back to the story, shall we? Mm -mm. Summon, oh, summon, I'm glad you came here. I mean, you could come. When I entered, she was slammed against her desk, a pile of paper in front of her. But as soon as she saw me, she brightened constantly. Poor senpai. Stop calling her senpai. I, she's not a senpai. I must be working too hard again. Seriously, guys, what is with everyone and calling her senpai or calling people senpai? Stop it. Anyway, good afternoon, senpai. Oh, wait. <clears throat> good afternoon, senpai. Yeah, I did see I would help you, right? Yes, you did. Thanks. I mean it. Not really. I probably didn't mean it. No one showed up. I thought it would be. I mean, ugh. no one showed. No one showed up. I thought I would be left alone again. But thanks for coming for me. I gave a smile to her before sitting in one of the chairs around the uh, council table. Then began to sort out papers out. As as you can see, somewhere this paperwork we have to do is we normally have uh, both council members and less work than this to do, but. Thanks to the curfew, there is reduced cl uh, class times and reduced club times until either the police catches the culprit of the, or the disappearance stops. I freeze and then disappearance. I completely forgot that people were disappearing left and right thanks to those weird incidents. Did, did, what happened to me? Also happened to normal people. As you can guess, this means a lot of work both for us and for the school staff. Although thankfully ours is just sorting things out with the clubs as as exhibition matches being rescheduled for spot clubs and changed of cultural events for culture clubs. We have to make sure nothing clashes with each other is a mess. What happened to the other council members? I mean, me members. They're ditching work! That's what are they doing? She grimaces a little. Sorry, that part of me got angry at that. I'm still going to whack them over the head for it, though. It's alright, Senpai. I'm here to help you. After all, I call you Senpai too many times. I'm sure you're I'm sure you're probably mad at me for not calling you your name. Yeah, I know. Sorry for the last let's get started. Shall we? The early we begin, the early we will leave. As we begin working out on the frankly boring paperwork, my mind starts to wonder. Naomi was pretty de de depressed when I saw her. But the moment she saw that, I i mean, the moment she saw that I showed up, she brightened constantly. Maybe she asked her other people and they didn't show up. Actually, if anything, she seemed lonely, almost resigned as work alone in the case. I'm glad I stopped by, if at least, to give her a hand. <laughs> Does this pile over here end? What? What would someone want a chance for? I denied. Denied? <laughs> um, this date clashes with the other. I'll put them into the clashing folder. Looking at Naomi, I can see that this is she that uh, she is working as delightly as over her pile of finished paperwork, being bigger than mine. But I can also see the signs of furniture appearing on her. I myself am starting to wear down. Well, mentally, at last, paperwork is way too boring. Well, I think we did it well for today. She says, purpley, surprising me. I look at her and then at her desk. Most of the paperwork is gone. But there's still a small a small pile left. I mean, yeah, left. Most of mine is gone as well, though the amount left is b still bigger than our hers. Already? She nods her head at me. Yes. This country to popular belief. I am not a slave. Driver, I know when to stop for the day. I can tell she is joking, but how many people really believe that about her? It makes me worry. Well, just leave the pile here. I'll finish it tomorrow, and hopefully there will at least be uh, someone there. Hmm. Offer to help tomorrow? Leave it to her. Leave it to her. Uh, no. I spent too much time here. Very well, then. I'll leave. Oh. <clears throat> well, then. I'll leave it to you, senpai. She smiles and nods at me, already packing her t then uh things. I get up and start doing the same. Thanks for the day. Once again, I will be in uncomfortable binds if you haven't come. I shake my head and smile at her. She will probably be fine. There is not much really left in here. There. You're welcome, senpai. With that, both of us get ready to go on our way home. We decided to go together, chatting uh, humbly on the way about random subjects before uh, parting ways 
uh, yeah, pointing ways about instructions. Since both of our houses were in opposite directions. All in all, it was nice. Normal day at school. Is there a setting where I can change my name? You are uh, you were only two roads away from your house. The Chibi Looney informed me on the GPS. I decided to check it out again, wondering how much you can know about the road around me. So far, the UG, the UGB, the UGPS never failed to give a location for something. I asked it just to point me to the hospital, school shops, landmarks, and even room or haunted sites. Without fail, it showed me the locations, even how to get there. For fun, I asked the device to point me to the nearest road to the moon. Looney's chippy avatar actually looked at me blankly before showing the message. The only way to go there is to teleport. It makes me wonder how how station the little thing is. Uh, what is this? I take a look at the map. Once of the roads closer to me is displaying that same red stain that I saw in the school map. It had disappeared when I checked again after helping Naomi, but this time. Well, let's check it out. I'm completely nosy now. I begin walking towards the other road, keeping on the eye on the map it's, it's to see if anything changes. Though the Chibi Looney is telling me, hey, that's the wrong way. Go the other way. But I ignored it in forever and seeing this weirdness. I arrive at the beginning of the road, still outside of the red, uh, red stain of the map. Strange? I can't see anything weird. I take a step forward and enter the sta uh, red stain, space down on the GPS. Nothing seems to be happening. Running space time normally undetected. So... What was that? <laughs> I see. So this is what the stains represent. Okay. Well, I'm ended here. I can't believe this happened. This is weird. Okay. That was weird. That was a. Uh, if you guys don't know, I'm wearing headphones, though. So, well, not really. I'm actually wearing weird headphones. That freaking gave me jump scares. But anyway, I'll be like the name I gave y'all, Gacha Squad. Because everyone actually does support Gacha. Which I'm actually very happy because this is my. I'm still new to this Gacha thing. <laughs> like, I remember starting it, like, I don't know, a lot of months ago. And I'm still new to this. So I'm a newbie. So go easy on me if I get things wrong. Anyway, subscribe if you're new, like it, I'll see you guys later, I'll see, hold on, I'll see you later, Catch a Squad.